In this video, we analyze the throw of one of the most popular players on the PDC circuit, Stephen Bunting. Winner of the BDO World Championship in 2014, he had to wait 10 years to lift his first major trophy in the PDC, the Masters 2024, and now try to stop him. We will analyze position, stance, grip, front camera, throwing action and speed. Let's discover the secrets of Stephen Throw. Steven's position is extreme and unique. It is difficult to find another player who is so much on the right. Bunting himself on his YouTube channel said the motivation. You may notice that I stand right on the corner of the hockey. Uh, no matter what hockey I play on, it's always on the, on the very corner. This come about when I was young and I used to play at home. My dad set the board up on the wall, but it was off centre to the the walkway so I was always to the right of the board and it just stuck from there to be honest it just felt natural that I was in that position because that's the position I played at home and that's where I picked that up from we might call it a bizarre motivation but as they say if something works why change Stephen uses a closed stance the foot is horizontal you are closer to the target than an open stance big load on the back and supporting leg the bunting stance in general is good there is no particular movement during the throwing action. The shoulders are slightly forward, the elbow is quite low. This is because, as we will see later, Stephen uses the flight as a point of aim, so to keep the flight in line with the eye, the elbow is lower. All the weight is correctly put on the supporting leg. Let's talk about grip. First, we can see how the flight of the dart is in line with the eye. He is not the only one to use this method. Other players do it, like Price, for example. Steven uses a three-finger grip. Quite simple. Thumb and index finger hold the dart at the back, almost on the stem. The middle finger gives stability just before the tip. The peculiarity is that the dart is pointed downwards, whereas usually it is flat or upwards. Until 2023, Bunting played with 12-gram darts. If you are a darts player, you can understand how difficult this is. It is not hard to believe that the switch to 18 gram darts gave his performance a boost. He said so himself several times in interviews. Steven, as they say, better late than never. From the front cam, we can see how bunting is right eye dominant. The elbow is solid, almost at 90 degrees. When he does the pullback, we can see a slight rotation of the wrist. The release is good. We can see the open grip well, with the palm facing the target which brings a complete flexion of the wrist during the release. Let's analyze bunting throwing action. The movement is linear. He sets the dart and performs a very little pullback, then makes a good release. Let's see the angle of the throw. Steven sets the dart at about 99 degrees, then does very little pullback until he reaches 88 degrees. Quite unusual as almost all players do more pullback, and finally does a very good release with the arm fully extended. Let's say that considering the grip of the dart with the tip down, the position all to the right, and the little pullback during the throwing phase, the bunting style is very personal, difficult to imitate. Speed is not an element that affects the level of a darts player. However, I usually like to include it in the analysis because it is an element that adds awesomeness in a match. Steven takes about five seconds to release the darts, an average time more inclined towards fast than slow. Thank you for watching the video. Write in the comments who you would like to be analyzed next.